Sir, my name is the doctor. I'm 907 years old. I'm from the planet Gallifrey. Now, I have learned here in this strange place. Oh, yeah, it's Earth. Definitely Earth. I don't know what time it is, but I've learned here at GMX, and I'm having quite a good time. Now, the reason I chose the Doctor, which is, by the way, from a series, British series called uh, Doctor Who, actually recorded as one of the longest-running shows in human history outside of the news. Um, I chose the Doctor, the Tenth Doctor, this specific one, because I feel I really identify with him. You know, he has that very childish, very playful side, but he has his own demons that he deals with on his own time and everything. But it's like, he's a very easygoing person, but should you do something he doesn't necessarily agree with or um, he finds to be wrong or immoral, there's just this, this boiling righteous fury. And he's also he's a very expressive person. But um, this is my second year at this convention. Um, it's very fun. I've enjoyed it so far. Um, well, well, yeah, there are a lot of pretty girls here too. A lot of blonde. I like blondes. Oh, and a word of advice, always bring a banana to a party. Bananas are good. I think I get out. My character is Princess Jasmine. because I figured, well, I have the skin tone right, so why not? And she was always, like, one of my favorites, I guess. And um, I was really excited to make this costume just because it looks simple enough, and I love fashion design. So I went to Joanne's and picked up some material and some of this stuff, and I just kind of went crazy, and it worked. So, yeah, and GMX is awesome, and... If you're watching this, you should definitely come. All right, we are from GI Joe. This is Scrap Iron. And I am a flag girl. And um, we made his costume out of SWAT gear. Um, I'm just here to fuck shit up. That's my goal, so... Cobra! And this is GMX! Yay, GMX! Hi! Today, uh, my character is Wonder Woman going to the beach. Day at the beach, so this is a Wonder Woman bathing suit. Plastic, and I painted it and glazed it. So I have my nice little L lasso that glows. For those in the dark. There you go. And I got my little battery pack. Hi, my name is Michael Cook of Studio Kensai. I'm a professional uh, armor and I've been a costumer for about 10 years. I specialize in leather and metal armor and weapons. This is my model, Jessica Johnson. And this is all hardened leather and brass armor. Uh, with her is actually has steel scales. And it involves a lot of traditional armor making techniques like boiling leather, shaping, embossing, and this one actually cutting out the leather to show the brass underneath. And it's inspired by a lot of 14th century armor designs and a lot of fantasy designs a la Lord of the Rings, uh, uh, Dragon Age, the video game from Bioware, Bioware, things like that. But these are original designs. And as you can see, they're made with a full range of motion for her leg harnesses and everything. So it's really designed to be worn and be comfortable. 
Hey, this is Izzy with Mace TV, and I'm here with another great cosplayer today, Captain America. Will you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, my name is Chad. My character is Captain America, or Steve Rogers. Um, this particular version is uh, from the Ultimates universe. Um, it's been, it's not one you can just buy, unfortunately. It's one that I've had to um, put together through numerous sources. The shield came from one place. The costume itself, the soft part of it, came from another uh, costume designer. Um, the gloves and the gauntlets I've had to piece together from two different sources. Uh, the boots are like telephone lineman boots. This was the hardest part of the costume to get was the boots. You just can't find boots that go just below the knee like this. They're, they're real difficult to find. So, And then I got these off of uh, eBay. They're actually Australian World War II uh, Army belt and um, uh, the pouches. The foam here, to make it look like we have chainmail armor, was done with fiber foam that was interlapped and sewn and then spray painted. It sounds like you put a lot of thought into making this character. What made you choose Captain America? Well, I, I don't know. I guess uh, who doesn't love Cap? Uh, it, the icon has been around since the 70s, older than I am, and uh, that is just completely patriotic. It's just a fun character to watch. Uh, I've watched him ever since I was young, so it kind of felt cool, kind of cool to emulate a costume that was, you know, based off of his his character. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Mace TV. Hello, today this is Mace TV and we have the cosplayer Enya. Enya, tell us, what do you think about GMX Con? It's a fun con. Uh, for the second year in a row, it's come a long way from its first year and I believe it's going to be a really nice, nice con. Uh, what, made it, what made you decide on the character that you're cosplaying today? Uh, this is my own personal character. I'm working on a comic at the moment, and I just wanted to kind of bring her to life and see how, how her reception, if people like the idea of her or not. Could you tell me a little bit about your comic? Uh, the comic takes place in Russia, um, kind of like in a weird cross-dimension, kind of like steampunk-esque sci-fi. Um, it's kind of set in like the 1920s, 1930s. Um, kind of around right before World War II starts, and um, I haven't gotten too far on it, so I'm still working on it. Um, could you tell me about how you made your costume? Um, I bought a lot of stuff from uh, Army Surplus Stores. Um, I wanted to be as authentic as I could, so I got everything that um, I wanted to get um, that would be... Um, Era appropriate. Uh, I've got a lot of Czechoslovakian, um, Russian pieces. So that's that's the majority of where I am myself. All right. Thank you for your time, Anya. Hey guys, my name's Leonardo Ramirez. I'm here at GMX. We're having a blast. I've got a new graphic novel that just released. It's called Haven. You can find out more about it on Facebook. That's Facebook.com backslash Army of Haven. It picks up where Dante's Inferno left off, uh, whereas, it, whereas it chronicles uh, the Dante timeline in the family uh, from that point in time until now, and also talks about what, the, what happened with the nine circles of hell after Dante Alighieri has left, the, left that realm. The nine circles of hell have banded together to form what they call the aristocracy. And they're responsible for all the evil in the world that has happened between that point in time and now. And it's up to Haven Arena Dante in our time period to stop them. So hope you can pick up a copy. Go to marcosia.com. That's M-A-R-K-O-S-I-A.com. You can order it there. And for more information, go to, again, facebook.com, Army of Haven. Thank you so much, and uh, hope you guys are having a great, great weekend. Have a great week, and see you soon. I'm cosplaying a squall, Leon Hart, who is originally from Final Fantasy VIII. 
But the cosplay that I'm wearing right now at the moment is the cosplay from the City of Final Fantasy. And the main reason why I really chose this cosplay in particular, well, it's kind of funny how I'm not the original Final Fantasy VIII character. My original pleather pants kind of ripped and I didn't feel like uh, buying any more or making any more, so I just retired the original A cosplay and I just went on to the City of Final Fantasy. And Squall has always been one of my favorite Final Fantasy characters from the games, so I guess that's really one main reason why I really chose to cosplay his character. And the thing that really went into this whole entire cosplay here was just money. And I had it all commissioned because I'm not very good with sewing. So, I uh, thought I'd go ahead and be honest there. Except for the makeup right, that you see right now, all it is is just lip liner because originally I used rigid Rigicolidin. And whenever I used that, it kind of messed up my face a little bit more than usual, so I had to give that a rest and I just went ahead and used lip liner on it. Just to give it some color for pictures, I guess. One main thing that I really think about GMX is this is a great con to go to. I mean, it's got everything. It's got sci-fi, video games, some anime. It's got anything and everything in between. The people here are friendly, and I've actually went to a lot more panels, and i met more people here than I have at any other con so far. So, GMX, Esquall's approval.